Hello everyone. I'm Anna. And welcome to my channel. English Solution 101. Today we are going to learn some new words so let's get started. But before starting don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. English Solution 101. The SAT vocabulary words we are going to learn are Stolid Strenuous Strident Tangential Tantamount Upbraid Vocation Viscous So what does stolid means? It means Calm Unemotional Unexcitable. Uninterested. Hey, what happened to you? Why are you trying to conceal your feeling behind stolid face? The next word is strenuous, which means arduous, difficult, hard, taxing, exhausting. I would advise you to avoid doing anything strenuous for a week or two. So the next word for today is strident which means harsh, loud, unmelodious. Neighbors are making strident voices. I can't sit here anymore. The fourth word which we are going to learn is tangential, which means merely touching slight or indirect connection. The matter you raise is rather tangential to this discussion. The next word is tantamount which means equivalent, equal. Mr. Simon if you resign, it would be tantamount to admitting that you're guilty. The third last word for today is upbraid, which means find fault, scold, admonish, criticize. Without a doubt, my parents are going to upbraid me for failing this semester. The second last word for today is vocation which means strong feeling of suitability for a particular career or occupation, profession, career.
Miss I am so confused I am struggling for years to find my true vocation. And the last word for today is viscous. Which means. Sticky. Adhesive. Be careful as honey is a viscous substance, it takes a great deal of work to remove it from a jar. Let's do a simple activity to revise what we have learned. Do you remember the word? Stolid? What's the meaning of strenuous? Do you remember what is the meaning of the word? Strident? Do you remember the word tangential? Do you remember the word tantamount? So what does upbraid means? So what does vocation means? What's the meaning of viscous? I hope you have now understood the vocabulary words explained in today's video. And how to use it in daily conversations. Now let's have a quiz. Can you fill in the correct meanings for each of the word? So were you able to correctly fill in the meanings? So now let's look at the correct meanings for each word.
didn't get any of the words so make sure you watch this video once again. Don't forget to write the sentences in the comments section below. See you guys in the next video until then goodbye. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel English Solution 101.